Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins from a place you know you can trust. What's up guys, KS here, and welcome to 20k challenge episode, I think it's episode 7, might be episode 8, I'm not exactly sure, but we have got an absolutely fantastic episode today. Uh, this is the team we are using, we're still going to be using this one, we got it from someone else after losing to them, so that team cost 20k. If you're new to this series, which it seems a few people are, basically what happens is, I have a team with 20k, I play against a subscriber with 20k, we look at their team and we play a game and uh, then I talk more about it there. This is this guy's team, pretty cool hybrid, uh, got a Porto sort of stuff going on down the left and then the Real Madrid, then the French and then Giroud up front which is the absolute beast. So it's a pretty cool team, I, I liked it because of like the unique and hybridism of it. So we start off and look how close to that. I thought that was going to be amazing by Lassina Triari, per literally a perfectly set up bikey. Um, but I started off just using all the clips from the games, like all, all the main highlights and stuff. But then it turned out that there was far too many goals that if I'd, well, far too many clips that if I'd used every single like proper chance, then it, this video would have been 15 minutes long. It was an absolutely amazing game. And it started off with him going 1 0 up there with Varane, Varane, Varane. I'm not exactly sure how you say his name, but he went 1 0 up. And uh, credit to him, when he got to that point there, he could have tramped it. If he'd been playing online, he probably would have done. But because he was playing against me, he didn't tramp it, earned himself a corner took the corner with Jan Moutinho and uh, I cleared it terribly and he smashed it on the volley and unluckily didn't get it in maybe if it was someone other than Sarko he might have actually scored with it but we kept going we had some really good chances this one here where Traore got through I probably shot a bit too early goalie just managed to get his hands to it and it was very very close to coming in but uh, then he did a chip through ball to Giroud I bought my goalie out lovely lovely little dink chip by him over the goalie to make it 2-0 and it wasn't looking good granted I didn't have 100% concentration in the first half but he did outplay me he scored 2 nice goals and uh, I came into the second half and thought right we've got to start playing now and instantly we went into his box Tiote managed to go down and get us a penalty sadly Varane didn't get sent off but maybe that made a bit of a better game to make it a bit closer and we took it with Eto. Uh, took a dummy in the run up and then just above the goalie somehow the goalie didn't save it and we managed to pull one back to make it 2-1 now I wanted to win this because I've drawn or lost I think the last three games drawn two of them and uh, maybe I've won one of them I can't remember but I wanted to get a win today so I was really determined we managed to pull it back to uh, pull it back to 2-2 there and I was like right come on we can do this now Dombaya managed to get that one for me but he ran down the wing with Menez almost instantly after uh, my second goal and then Perfect finish there by Rodriguez. Very, very nice goal indeed to make it 3-2 to him. And then again, literally straight after the kickoff, went down the other end. Uh, I managed to nick in front of him with Dumbia and a lovely little chop and a finesse into the top corner to make it 3-3. So that was two goals in literally two in-game minutes. And then four in-game minutes later on, Kone got the ball. Some lovely little skills. Absolutely burnt him a couple times. And then bang, absolutely unleashed the Kone into the top corner. That was now three goals in five in-game minutes and uh, it was looking very, very good. And then four in-game minutes later, he put Rodriguez through and a lovely, lovely finish over the out-sprinting goalie. So really, this game was getting absolutely just so jam-packed with goals and stuff. Um, that made it 4-4 at full time and we went to extra time and penalties and it got even better there. Not necessarily for him, but certainly for me. Managed to jump in front of his man there and get the ball with Eto and with the near post OP, absolutely smashed it into the back of the net and made it 5-4. So I've come back from 2-0 down to get a 5-4 lead, and then Yanga, Yanga Mapu and Biwa, or Mapu Yanga and Biwa, I can't even remember how you say his name, made it 6-4, and then it, I just kept going. Traore somehow managed to get through there, absolutely smashed it at the goalie, it bounced back out, first time, Diara under the goalie again, 7-4. This has gone from 2-0, him kind of dominating the play, to massively changing. He did manage to pull one back with Giroud here. Lovely finish into the bottom-hand corner, but that wasn't enough for him to get the win or to even manage much of a uh, challenge to get back at me. So an absolutely incredible game. Very, very good match indeed. Thank you, as always, for watching this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you could leave a like, that'd be fantastic. If we could get to 400 likes, that'd be amazing. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Loads of videos being uploaded. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.